Okay, it's February 9th, uh, 2018, here in Dothan, Alabama, here in my backyard. And I went through my hives here in the backyard yesterday. And uh, they're really growing, they're looking good, uh, making a lot of new bees, but the feed stores were, the feed stores were down. Uh, there wasn't a lot of honey in the hives or anything, so I decided to feed them. And I wanted to show you this easy way that I feed them using a five gallon bucket. A friend of mine here locally calls it trash feeding. Basically what I did was I mixed um, sugar water one to one with a one to one ratio and then I uh, put a feeding stimulant in it called a Beekeeper's Choice Feeding Stimulant. It's uh, produced by a friend of mine, uh, Scott Derrick, up in South Carolina. His company is Blythewood uh, Bee Company. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but what you do, once you mix it up in the bucket, get it all mixed up. Then you put leaves or pine straw or anything in there that'll float. You can see down in there. Works really well. Uh, what it does, it keeps the bees from drowning. And they, they will suck up the sugar water uh, fairly quickly. And the leaves just uh, drop as the level of the sugar water drops. It works really good. Now, you can tell my... <coughs> uh, open feeder is pretty close to my hives here a lot of people say you should put it quite a ways away to prevent robbing I've done it this way for a while um, as far as feeding fairly close to my hives sometimes I feed uh, through top feeders if I have a hive that needs it more than others but when I open feed and I really haven't had a lot of issues with robbing doing it this way if I do obviously I'll change it but here in town it is a little difficult because I try to keep all my bee stuff right here kind of close together in the backyard. I have neighbors all around and it would be tough to set a bucket up 100 yards away. So that's kind of what I do. That's an easy way to feed your bees and uh, just thought I'd share it with you. Thanks.